Hey, in this video I will give a few tips and tricks on taking control of second mid and uh, apps on T side of Inferno. So there are two ways to go to the apps. Uh, first way is through the second middle, uh, the other way is through the apps itself. So for the bridge of the apps, uh, one thing I've noticed uh, many times is that people uh, sit over here and shoot the, the wall like this, even while crouching sometimes. Uh, but this is not really the, the most efficient way to do it, because this allows all this... This is basically the line where the enemy, uh, where the bullets will fly, but then higher. So the only headshot angle that you can get is over here, in this, this line. Uh, so that allows the CTs to push up all the way over here without any, any uh, problem. And then they can hold this off angle, and when you're reloading then they can actually cross and like contest the peak once you're uh, later over there. So what you maybe should be doing, or what is maybe better, is in, uh, to go all the way over here. And shoot all the way on the left side. What this does is this has a more narrow angle, it sometimes sh shoots through the wall, or maybe a little bit more to the right, depending on where you stand. So what this does is... Um, it gives a, a narrower angle, so you send it more to the right, and then it just uh, it doesn't like the the CTs won't be uh, won't have that much space to actually go all the way pushing into the apps. Uh, that's one trick, and you could even stand on here to shoot over the flower pot, for example. Uh, so that's the first step. So coming from second middle instead of the bridge, uh, what you want to do is sometimes if you know that they are always uh, really aggressive on apps, what you could do is use a use a Molotov to counter that, which bounces into the mo into the boiler and the CTs can't be pushing from boiler. So then the only possibility is pushing the holes. Um, so this allows you to go towards middle or go over there and knowing that they won't be uh, close already, or only from the holes. Uh, then another thing, uh, a small tip what you could use in taking control is, uh, some sometimes people just peek the, the boiler like this, they just walk up, but a better way is to creep up so that they can't see you, just make sure they are not standing over there all the way. And then once you're close, you can pre-aim the left side and just uh, uncrouch to stand up and just do a quick quick peek you peek and you maybe see while you peek that he was actually standing on the right what you could do then is uh, just move your position a little bit so that he doesn't uh, pre-fire you as well you move a little bit and then you shoot that that side so that uh, is one way of exposing yourself uh, way less and giving you a better chance of winning the trade to, to boil it. So yeah, that's another small uh, trick or tip. Uh, then another one is, I want to show one set of utility. Uh, this is uh, mainly for, for lurking, but also once there are uh, friendlies that want to take short control, this can really help you, uh, really help the team, because it will distract the enemies. So first of all, you want to make sure that nobody's holding the close angles inside the apps, uh, so that you're safe to take your, your utility. You want to stand in the middle of this, this door, line up with this, this white brick, you aim on the right side of it, uh, you just left click go, and what this does, it gives you a uh, smoke that bounces down onto the cart. So you can easily come here. The first thing that you want to clear is the balcony itself. Sometimes they can be standing on that off angle. Because uh, people from the pit can't, can't see you if, you if you're standing over here. And then you could throw out your molotov and hold for the people in the broken wall to push out, out of the molotov, kill them. Or if the, sp the smoke is still down, you could go ag aggressive instead of lurking. You could actually go aggressive and use this as, a, as an entryway. Of course, always uh, possibility is to combine this with this flash. So you flash everyone on the pit and anti-flash on, on balcony. So then you come over here. You either, if you know that he's balcony, you can pre-fire this. Or, of course, over there. 
that's the, the most common spots. Uh, and let's say if you know that they're for example in mini pit and there's nobody else in the pit or on the balcony, then you could do this as well. Like you keep your flash, so you know uh, you clear this out. There's nobody there. You you already molded off that. And now what you do is you aim on on the top of the roof, right click, throw the flashbang, and then actually flashes, and you can jump down and kill the guy that is uh, over here. Because uh, this pop flash is really good, and even for the people like sort of playing anti anti aggressive, that will pop right in their face, and the guy that is sitting here will definitely be flashed. Because if, if they react to this, if once they see this and they will react, they will be like still uh, turned turned around if you if you fall down. So that's an easy frag for you. Uh, or you could even stand up on the balcony and just use the smoke. So you do this, don't want to be too early, you just jiggle peek, make sure there's nobody there, clear this, and once you, you've established that, then you can help actually your teammates killing, like shooting the guys from low, and then uh, jumping down to shoot the guys on side maybe, and just supporting your team. And then once you're in, inside this pit, uh, you, most of the time the people from short will have the bomb, if you're by yourself in apps. So what you then want to do is make sure that you are the, the person that holds the, the long push. Because mini pit is a really strong position to hold off long. Because the only thing people from long can can see is, is a really small part of your head. So that's basically uh, one way of, of uh, playing uh, control in the Inferno apartments. Hopefully this was uh, helpful for you and you learn something from from these tips and it will improve your your results or your gameplay on on T side Inferno. See you in the next one. Have a good one.